Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a haul. Um, I did go into store today. They had the car fragrance refill um, sale. I think they're like $1.95. Um, and then I also placed an online order. It was the last day that candles were on sale. Um, or one of the last two days, I had my 25% off online coupon that I was waiting to use, so I used that, which did bring my candles down to under $10. Um, I had to pay shipping, but it's fine. Um, I also had some rewards online. I'm kind of mad at myself because I didn't take the extra time and look, um, because the new stuff was out. Beach Nights, Firecracker Pop, the Confetti Sparkle, all the new stuff was out and I failed to look. I just add, I don't know how I missed it. I really don't know. Um, I checked. I had to have clicked on the body care stuff because I got Gangnam because my plan was to just use my reward on Gangnam because I didn't think they would put the new stuff out. And I got two of the fine fragrance mist, two of the um, body creams and then I just got a mini because I had a free birthday gift on my account and then I was on Instagram and saw the people were getting the new stuff and I don't I don't know how I missed it but it's okay because my order came today I went into store today and I exchanged the stuff anyway and I got the new stuff and I'm kind of glad that that happened because I got to smell it and smell all the new stuff and figure out what I really wanted and I ended up getting something that I probably wouldn't have gotten online so excited about that and I picked up five candles online so I tried to like limit myself um and I'm very happy with the um candles that I did choose so I will go ahead and start with the candles I'm also going to show you guys um my pink Victoria's Secret haul the reward card that we got like I swear I had that card in my purse for like two months and it's not good until today May 11th so I did peek in the store real quick and I picked up my it was 20 off 50 so I paid like $35 for the things that I got and there's some body care so we'll just go ahead and get into it also Target haul just a couple things so I'll show you that so online I picked up my candles so I did get a backup of the red white red white and blue cake this is one that surprised me so much i really do want to burn this um in july uh i usually hoard my candles but since i have a backup i feel okay about burning one so this is a candle that just really really surprised me it smells so good the reviews on this have been really really good so i think it's going to be a decent throw um as long as i can smell it in my big open con not big but my open concept area as long as i can smell it it's a win for me. So super happy to pick this one up. The packaging just speaks to me. I love it. I love that they did this and I'm super excited to have a backup. So that is the first one. Another candle I picked up is Confetti Daydream. I was not interested in this when I smelled it in store, but everybody's reviews say that this is such a strong throw. It is definitely a perfumey scent. So I feel like it's hit or miss rather perfumey scents are strong throwers or not but i just have heard great things about it the packaging's cute it's a little purple it's so pretty so i'm so intrigued and excited to burn this and see what my own opinions are about it the next one is champagne margarita so this is supposed to be a repackage of moscow mule that came out sometime last year or the year before i never smelled that one but my fiance, he did turn 21 in March. His favorite drink is Moscow Mules. So I had him smell this when it was at my store and he loved it. He really wanted it, but I liked some other ones and I ended up not getting it. So he's very happy that I got this now because I personally don't love this. It definitely has like a pledge cleaner scent to it. Um, it's not so much lemon, the note in it is lime, but it just smells, what do you want? <laughs> it just smells very citrusy and it's not something I would have usually picked up, but I'm a sucker for the white barn packaging. It's a super pretty teal blue color and I'm very interested to see because I also heard this was a very strong thrower and those are my like ideal candles. Then I picked up a blueberry pie. So I'm gonna try and not talk too much about blueberry maple pancakes but we'll just say I like it. I'll tell you guys like in another video, probably my empties or something. Um, 
but blueberry pie is one that a lot of people have been talking about. I guess that the older packagings have been a stronger throw than this one, but it's still, from what I've gathered, a pretty decent throw. I really like my blueberry scents, especially in candles. This smells super good on cold, and I'm very, very happy that I got my hands on this because, like, out of all out of the ones that I just showed you, Red White Blue Cake is a newer one, so my store has that, but Champagne Margarita, Confetti Daydream, and Blueberry Pie were all at my store, and now they're not. My store gets very limited quantities, so I'm glad that online still have them in stock because they're ones that I tossed back and forth whether I wanted, smelled them in store, and just liked other candles more, but then I kind of got like FOMO fear of missing out um when people kept talking about them and doing like post burn reviews and I'm just glad that I got my hands on them because all three of those have had extremely good reviews even red white and blue cake has gotten really good reviews even though it's a newer one and there's not as many videos they're still a good bit people are like starting to burn them since it's new and they just got them so we'll see how I like them definitely will let you guys know and another one that's gotten really good reviews that I felt like I was missing out on was vintage and if I'm not wrong this is an online exclusive online exclusive so I'm also very excited about this it's such a like cologne scent it just smells like my fiance uses all the Bath and Body Works men's collection, so it just smells like one of his body washes. I think he has vintage, but if not, I feel like they all kind of smell somewhat the same, all of their fragrances for the men, but I love mahogany teakwood. I want my house to smell like this does. I hope it's a strong throw, so very excited to have this. Speaking of online exclusives, I saw a Instagram post today. Um, warm apple pie is an online exclusive. Some people are upset about that. Um, hopefully, especially with like SAS and stuff, uh, I will be building up some um, rewards online, and so far I can't do online pickup in store in my area, so I will probably be placing an online order and will end up getting warm apple pie, because um, that's one that I've never had, I've never burned it, so and I've always just heard good things, so that's one that I will be keeping my eye on to pick up. So then, un so we'll get into body care now, those are my all five of my candles. This is the stuff that I got in in store so i had fresh getaway as a mini for my free birthday gift and i exchanged it today for summer melody this has notes of like melon and vanilla it smells summery but it doesn't smell like anything special to be quite honest um i'm glad that i have this over fresh getaway um but to be honest, I would have rather had like the Happy Birthday Mini, but they didn't have that at my store or one of the new ones like Firecracker Pop. Didn't have any, so I got this, but I'm glad to see if I like it so that I can figure out if I want a full size. I feel like probably not, but if it goes 75% off at SAS, I might change my mind. So we'll see how I like that. Then for the next exchange that I made, I picked up Beach Nights, of course. I'm... <sighs> It's not a video if I don't drop something. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is one that's gotten so much hype. I have never smelled it before. They had it in the past. I wasn't into Bath and Body Works then. But I knew I had to pick it up this time around. I smelled it in store and I'm not going to lie, I was not blown away. I do not think that this is what I thought it was going to be. Um, the first note on it is, uh, marshmallow, toasted marshmallow. Um, marshmallow scents are usually fairly light. It does smell like a amped up vanilla for sure, but I'm, I'm so happy I got my hands on it. I will probably pick up backups even though it's not blowing me out of the water. I'm not through the roof excited about it. Actually, since I'm here and I see this next to me, people said that this let me get it. This is Vanilla Rainbow Sprinkles. People said that this was like a repackage. So now that I smelled that, let's see what this smells like. Oh my gosh. I think they're literally the same scent. What? Am I? People said this before, so I'm not losing it, but. This is the same scent.
Okay. That was a real raw reaction right there. So, oh my gosh. So, if you guys got this from an outlet or you got it on Mercari, this is, in my opinion, like the same thing. There's no fragrance notes on this. I'm so confused. <laughs> I think these are dupes of each other. I just don't believe it. Okay. So, there's that. Um, I'm still glad that I got it. I'm glad I got to compare it too. But, yeah, I have Beach Nights. So, the one that I'm most excited for. So, originally I had the Confetti Sparkle in my bag. And that one, I have a ton. I have like three or four of the body lotions because they had them at SAS. Um, and I felt like I missed out on that one. I still will pick it up. I know I will. I'm very intrigued about it. I'm glad I got to smell it in store. What are you doing? <laughs> My dog but I smelled firecracker pop and I know this came out last year but I didn't get it this packaging to die for I love this um this smells so good oh my gosh it's so bright and fruity and I love it it smells so good I'm glad that I got this in store because I wasn't going to place an order for this I would have definitely got beach nights and the confetti sparkle or whatever it is I can never remember the name but this I'm, I'm so happy I have it and I'm so glad they came back out with it because I didn't get it last year and I don't know why because this smells so good. So I will get backups of this too because I'm going to want to use this now. I don't know if I will, but I want to. <laughs> then we'll go on to the car fragrance refills that I picked up today for the sale. So I did pick up a ice dragon fruit tea. I couldn't wait. I already put this in my car. The one that I had before was um, mahogany tea good. This one, even though this is such a strong scent, this did not like do well in my car. So I'm gonna put these in my empties. But Ice Dragon Fruit Tea smells really good. So that's in my car now. You'll hear my review on it in my empties video. Um, I'm gonna let it go for like a, at least a month or two weeks, whatever. I just wanna get an opinion on it because I just put it in my car. Um, but. The one that I had before Mahogany Teakwood was Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and that one just, that smelled so good for so long. So now I'm trying to, like, test out the other car fragrance refills to see what other ones smell like Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, just because it lasted so long. Um, but, sorry, these notifications on my phone, I just get, like, lost when I'm talking. But so I got a good bit. I kept wanting to buy Carb Fragrance Refills for the longest time. They're three for 10 normally. And that's an okay deal, but I was really waiting for a sale. And then I saw on Instagram that there was like, um, they were planning on having a sale. So I was trying to wait it out. And I did. And I'm glad that I did because I picked up, I paid $15, I think. So I got like seven. Is that how many I got? So we'll just keep going. So I got Sun Drenched Linen. I've been loving these like fresh clean scents. I got Black Cherry and Merlot. This is usually a strong scent in body care and in a candle. So we'll see how it does in my car. Mango Mai Tai. That just smelled so good in the store. Sea Salt and Sales. I picked up the candle of this. Um, this is just like a fresher cologne scent. So I picked that. Then Pink Lilac and Vanilla. Um, this has been a really... A good scent in all forms. Um, I almost bought the candle in it. I have burning in my room right now a single wick and it is thrown pretty strong. Um, they had this as like the tester in the store and it smelled so good. Uh, this smells like Cabbage Patch Kids to me. If you get the chance smell this, it smells like the Cabbage Patch Kid like babies that I had when I was little. They had like a distinct smell to them and this is what it smells like. So I really like that. And then I got Bubbly Rosé. Um, this one just smelled really good in store. So yeah, there's six. Yeah, I got seven of them. So 15 bucks. That's a really good deal because I would have paid 10 for three of them. So next we will move on to my pink haul. I picked up four things. So... Sorry, I hope that's not too loud. So I picked up the Honey Lotion and the Honey Wash. 
So I already have a honey wash that I've been waiting to use with my honey wildflower set because I didn't ever get the body wash for that. So now I have two of these and one of these. The only other lotion I have from Pink is the grapefruit. I'm looking at it, but it's like covered, so I don't know what it is. It's a pink bottle and it's grapefruit scented. Um, I was worried that these were going to be heavy. I haven't used it yet, but all the reviews I've heard, people say it's actually pretty light. Their lotions are usually like very watery, so I don't know. It looks a little thick, but maybe just like, it doesn't look like a Bath & Body Works body cream. It looks more like a lotion or maybe just a little thicker than that. It smells really good. Um, I'm excited to use it because I have Honey Wildflower from Bath & Body Works. And I think that it's going to pair super well with this. So these were two for 15 That's not the best deal. Um, I usually like to get them when they're like, well, I guess it is. Usually if they're just like on sale, like each one's on sale, it's usually like $7.95 or 7 6 or $7. So two for 15 is about the same price. But... I just needed something to get me to the $50 threshold so that I could use my 20 off 50 reward. So picked that up. Then I got this swimsuit. Um, Usually, well, recently, within the past like three years, I have tried to stay away from their swimsuits. Um, I used to get them and I feel like, I don't know, they're just not very flattering. The colors are usually like off. I just get like the black ones. I don't know. I've just, I'm not a super big fan of their swimsuits, but I am going on a trip next week. I'm going to the beach. I'm going to the beach next week. And then the second weekend in June, I'm going on my bachelorette party. So lots of vacations. I'm sure there'll be more and I need swimsuits. I need clothes in general. Um, so I wanted to use my reward for something that would benefit me for like my trips because I'm trying. I don't know why. I'm just like not in the mood to shop and spend money, which is unlike me. Bath and Body Works looks like I'm saying otherwise. But as far as like clothing, I just, I don't know. So I've been like trying to add stuff to my Shein cart and like Target and stuff. And then I just like don't want to press the checkout button. So hopefully the swimsuit works out because... I need a new swimsuit. It, you just have to buy new clothes for vacations. I just feel like that's a rule. It is in my head. <laughs> so this is the swimsuit I got. So it has like this little like tortoise shell. Is that what it's called? Like tortoise shell like ring and it's burnt orange. Um, burnt orange is definitely like a fall color, but I feel like tan being tan, this will look really good. I got the top in a medium. Um, so we'll see. And then I got the bottoms in a large. The medium looks really small. And these are the bottoms. So they have the same like ring. And they look like they're like a higher cut bottom. Let's see. Does it say anything? It doesn't say anything on it. Like what style it is. But I feel like the higher cut ones you have to get in a bigger size. Because you like pull them up on your hips. And they look really flattering. Like usually I haven't tried this one on yet. I literally just got home with it. But I'm hoping that it fits and works out. If not I can do an exchange. But I'm really hoping that I at least have one new swimsuit for my trip. So we'll see about that. Okay. Then we'll get on to my Target haul. Also hoping that this stuff works out for me. So we'll start with the things here because they're all on hangers. Um, so I picked up this black bodysuit. This is from the Colsey brand. Um, I love their stuff. It's so comfy. It's just a plain black ribbed bodysuit. This was $15. Um, I feel like I have so many black bodysuits, tank tops, but when I want to wear something, I can never find it. I feel like a black shirt and jean shorts is like the simplest most classy like works for any occasion outfit so to have another black bodysuit I I just felt like it was a good idea so hopefully it fits um I am like 5'8 so usually that's the reason that stuff doesn't fit it's just like not long enough for me but we'll see then I just picked up this bright pink like crop top it was five dollars that's a good deal and I feel like this in jean shorts is just like an easy outfit then this is the one thing that I would probably return 
Um, so I got this from Colsey again. This is a light blue like tank top sports bra type of thing and then the matching shorts. It is ribbed. The shorts I got in a large. I think the only other size they had was a small. Usually I would like to get a medium but I don't know. We'll see if the large works. I probably won't wear this out of my house. I might wear it at the beach. Uh, I will definitely wear it if I wear like, uh, I have like a gray oversized hoodie if I wear that over this, but I probably won't just wear it alone. I'm not, I don't really wear stuff like that. I don't know. I live in a small town in PA. It's like unacceptable, not unacceptable, but yeah, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable in that. But if I wear a hoodie, I'll probably wear it out because it's going to be super comfy. Um, it's a little bit see-through, so I worry about that because it's a lighter color, but I didn't want... I think they had black I don't know the shorts these are like a longer biker short they had some that were like super short in like a pink color um but this is really the only one that was like a matching set that had long shorts that was somewhat in my size so we'll see how I feel about that then I got this brown like razorback tank top thing they have an identical one at um American Eagle like Aerie that I've been looking at but it's like 30 it's either 20 something or 34 dollars or something it's ridiculously expensive and even though they have it like 20 percent off 30 percent off whatever it is it's still like almost 20 dollars for a little piece of like fabric like come on they're tiny so this one was 10 um still like I wish it was like five dollars like that pink shirt but still I wanted a brown just plain tank top it's fine um happy that I got it and didn't have to pay the twenty dollar price tag for the airy one so we'll see if that fits um I also really really need a dry shampoo so I went to Ulta because I had an online purchase that I needed to return I got like this round brush that pulled my hair out so I went um, in store to exchange that and I needed dry shampoo so I ended up buying the Hask one this is not part of my haul but I bought the Hask one I like this one um but Ulta's prices are kind of expensive even though they have a good reward program so I wanted to get the Target like go to Target and look I usually like the Batiste ones I went to TJ Maxx they didn't have any my job like I swear I'll have clean hair I'll go into work and I work in a hospital my hair is like instantly greasy I can have my hair clean for one day and it's just a grease ball so I need tons of dry shampoo for work so I got this anomaly dry shampoo um I don't know haven't heard anything about this it was like five dollars I was looking for like cheaper alternatives because Batiste is pretty expensive. It's like $10 for a bottle. So this is five ounces. We'll see how I like it for five bucks. I It was like buy four hair care items, get a, ten, or a $5 gift card. So I ended up getting five. I don't know. I got this Dove Dry Shampoo. This is 7.3 ounces. I just feel like I go through these so quick. So I wanted to get like I don't know, cheaper ones. See if I can find cheaper alternatives that I like. So Dove, got this one. It was the last one. The other ones were like brunette colored and I didn't want that. Then I did get a Batiste one because I know these are like my favorite. This is 6.35 ounces. It's like $10. Whereas this one and the Anomaly one were like five or six. So $10, but Batiste is really good. It's just a good go-to and I know it works. So then something that I was not going to get, usually don't buy this stuff, but it was just speaking to me. I got Garnier Fructis hair care. I don't like parabens, sulfates. I don't like any of that stuff. I use like usually like stuff that's like higher quality, but this is watermelon extract and it smells so good. I just saw like the pink packaging, the watermelon, and I was like, I have to smell this. And it just smells amazing. So it says no silicones. I don't know. It says no parabens, no artificial colors. The ingredients. I don't know. It doesn't look awful. We'll see how this works. It's like a big, it says 50% more free. It's a big bottle. This was like $5. Um, do I need shampoo and conditioner? Probably not. I'm just so intrigued. So we're going to see how this works. I don't know. But let me know if you've used it. And then I had to get the hair mask. $5 for a hair mask. I know it's like 
drugstore brand. This has no silicones, no parabens. It says for fine hair. I don't think I have fine hair, but it's a hair mask for $5. It smells like watermelon. And it's a big jar. I'm just so excited to try this. If I like this, I will definitely buy more. To be honest, I don't even care that it's drugstore brand because $5 for a shampoo, conditioner, this big size that smells so good. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's everything for my haul. Lots of randomness, I know. Thank you guys for watching. Um, definitely hoping that Bath and Body Works has really good sales coming up. I also wanted to say, so I said in my last video, um, I was kind of conflicted because I said that weird, conflicted because I'm having a new Bath and Body Works store open on Friday, right near my, like in my area. Um, it's like five miles from the other one in the mall. So it's opening Friday in two days. Today's Wednesday. Um, I'm so excited, but I was conflict, conflicted. Why can't I say that? Uh, about SAS and what store to go to. So I asked the associate today. I said, hey, weird question. She's like, yeah, what's up? And I said, like, what store do I go to for SAS? I said, the new one's opening up and I just don't know which one to go to. And she was like, oh my gosh, come here. And I was like, really? And like, that's kind of what I was thinking because people have been like returning stuff and I feel like the more like one off rare items would be there. And she's like, she told me that a store that is about an hour away from me that I've been to before, she said that it closed or like moved or whatever. So I have to look into that because if it moved, I want to go see it. But she said, latte. Anything that she can chew on. So she said that they have been shipping their stuff from their old store to my mall store. And I was like, I had no idea. This is why I'm glad that I asked and it never hurts to ask because I felt kind of bad. I felt like intrusive asking this question, but she said that they've been getting all these shipments from the other store an hour away and she said they have so much stuff for SAS. Say less. No brainer. I will be at that store. I'm so excited. I'm so glad I asked. Uh, like I said, I'm definitely going to hit up the other store afterwards, but I like to wait in line. I think it's so much fun. Uh, my friend, she already requested off and she's going to come with me. She did last time too for the winter SAS and we're going to go to the mall store. So that's so exciting. Uh, I can't wait to post my haul for the first day of SAS because they're getting all this stuff and I got good feelings about it. So uh, that's it. I'm going to stop my rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.